Well, good evening, travelers. Todd here and Kevin. You may have remembered him from Flying Fish. We have now come over to Paddlefish. We're going to have another fish restaurant. But Kevin's going to give us a little details, hopefully, tonight of the Galactic Star Cruiser and their trip so far here at Disney. So, hints, yeah. just a few hints. Uh, Michelle and Heidi are making sure we have a table. And I believe we may even have the same server tonight, hopefully. Mimi from Flying Fish. So come along and let's see what Paddlefish has to offer us tonight. Travelers, we have made it in, and they can barely see it right there. Paddlefish right here. Here is the menu. Of course, the food on one side, the libations on the other side. And we are here with Kevin and Heidi again. Another fish restaurant. We met them at Flying Fish, and now we're at Paddlefish. And we have the same server tonight from Flying Fish to here. Miss Mimi over there, and she is fantastic as usual. The way she describes the menu, and Kevin even said it, it just makes you want to try everything. And I, I believe she's one of those servers that you wait for. When you find her in a good restaurant, you wait for her to sit in her section. She's definitely that way. So we're going to look at the starters, which I think we already pretty much all know what we're going to have. I think Kevin went with the calamari. Heidi went with the crab cakes. Michelle went with the wedge lettuce. We're also going to share <laughs> um, calamari. And I went with a cup of their New England cham clam chowder, which is made in-house. So we cannot wait to get those starters. And we're going to enjoy a great meal. And maybe, maybe they'll share some of their experiences with us. Come along. Let's see how, what else Paddlefish has to offer us. I do not see a dessert menu on here. Okay, so of course we'll start with our drinks. Me and Michelle got Cokes. What did you get, Heidi? The Mayan Empress. The Mayan Empress. Right there, that is the Mayan Empress. And I love their paddlefish glasses. And this looks very, that looks great. This is not everyone's margarita. Not everyone's margarita. Why did we see? It has a pepper. It's got jalapeno. It's got jalapeno in it. So that's why it's called not everyone's and it's made with mezcal, which is a smoky, smoky. tequila. Okay, okay, so. And that's a salt. And that's a, probably a black lava salt yep. rim. Look at that, we're starting to learn things. And a blackberry in it, I mean, uh, no, see, I said a blackberry. It is a blackberry. No, that is a jalapeno right there. Look at that. So he does like smoky margaritas, apparently. As soon as she said smoky margarita, he's like, that's the one. I'll take it. But he even said the same thing. That's the one he wants. So. Hey, everybody. By the way, there's Mimi. I know. Awesome. Oh, my God. It was so great you guys came in. Okay, so we ordered our entrees. Um, Kevin stepped away for a moment, so we'll go over that real quick. He got the stuff. Cod, which I is. I tried to curl my hair. Do you know what I never did? And it looks like it just got out of bed. So I tried to curl mine under, and I'm like, it's just going to do what it wants. I did. No matter what. We tried to be nice. I have. What is that? that we, we're in a fancy place. No, I don't. Curl my hair. Anyway. Um, so Kevin's stuffed cod is a shrimp and scallop cornbread stuffing, asparagus, red potatoes, mustard cream sauce. And that is thirty-five dollars. Heidi, what'd you get? I got the catch of the day, which is swordfish. Swordfish, okay. But instead of the couscous, I got the red bliss potato. Michelle, you went with the cod also, mm -hmm. and I gave Mimi two choices for me: either the um, shrimp pasta, which is the greedy shrimp, asparagus, tomato, and crab broth for twenty-four dollars, or 
the pork chop, which is herb roasted potatoes with marinated peppers and chimichurri, and that's $28. She gets to decide my dish for me tonight. Well, Cannot good. wait. Okay, here is the very, very calamari, and as you can see, the fried peppers in there. Oh, that's the calamari right there. And it does come with a horseradish, um, more like a shrimp cocktail sauce right there. And a nice piece of a lemon wedge, which we'll squeeze over that. This is my clam chowder, which I'll try to show you as much as I can. I know we got food going everywhere, um, which we did last time too, which was great. Um, that is my clam chowder and house made. And Michelle's wedge salad. It's very high. Yeah, they did not skimp on the onions today. Look at that. That right there, that is her wedge salad. So. And blue cheese dressing, and it looks like it's got a lot of nice crumbles in there. Very nice. So, can't wait to give this a try. And they brought some pull apart, pull apart rolls for us too for dinner. So we cannot wait. Oh my gosh, this is all looks good. Yeah, let's try the calamari first. How's it come? There's a nice pepperiness to it too. To me, okay. I love spice. Okay. I didn't put any lemon on it yet. Do you want to put the lemon on it? Okay. Michelle, yep. Me and Michelle always put lemon on ours. Watch the seed drop out. I know. Always happens. They don't put a little guard on it. Okay. Here we go. I have... I don't see any tentacles. No tentacles. Do you got any tentacles? I mean, come on, cross them. No All tentacles. Rings. If I find okay. it, I'll give them to you. No, that's okay. <laughs> All rings. There we go. Okay. Cheers, honey. Here's to a great night, guys. Thank you so much for dinner tonight. Mm. Oh, yeah. It's got a nice taste of pepper in there. I love the sauce. The meat, too. Mmm. That is really good. I wish it was like three times that size, but that is really good. It has a different kind of bread. I'll tell you something, without the salt. The calamari, it does not one of them flaky, flaky. It's actually got a bite to it. Yeah. Oh, no. This is fantastic. I love I just made Heidi retry it, and it changed. You asked what the smokiness is like. Spaceship Earth, Rome is burning. This is how you do it. This really? is how you taste it. Yes. Oh my God. It's bizarre. Wow. That is awesome. What kind of peppers are these? Anybody know? I, I think from the menu is the Pepidou. Pepidou? Which we had the other night. Okay. We're going to try. They're not as spicy as often. Okay. Actually, it's really good. It looks like a piece of okra. It really does. Maybe it is. It tasted like okra. The pepperdew is like a green pepper and okra had a baby. Maybe that's what it is. That's really good. It has a great flavor to it. Yeah. No, not hot at all. A little bit. Okay, here we go. I'm going to try the clam chowder. Y'all would like to try the clam chowder? You have went ahead. Because it was dripping through my floor. <laughs> mm. It's not a heavy cream base. No. It's like a, it's like a water base chowder. Yeah. Like More like a brothy yeah. base. Lots of clams. A lot of clams. A ton of clams. And I haven't had no potatoes yet. Mm. You stole my knife. I just, oh, yeah, I did steal your knife. Well, how's your crab cake? Oh, okay. crab cake is phenomenal. Good. It's got just a little bit of spice. It's good. The frying green tomato is a cornmeal, which is a nice texture difference. This calamari, I'm normally more of a tempura batter, but that's got a really good seasoning on it. Yeah, yeah doesn't it have like a, is it breadcrumbs? Like, what is I, that on it? I think it's like panto and breadcrumb mixed. Yeah. While you really filmed their interview for the Halcyon, yeah. I'm going to eat all the calamari. <laughs> because I can do both at the same time. <laughs> I think that's what he's going to do, too. I am, to preface this, I am a moderate Star Wars fan. 
He is a Star Wars geek. I was there at the beginning. Okay. I, I was a year old. Oh, there she goes playing the H card again. <laughs> I swear. What is up with that? But it's like, it is a very hefty price tag. The biggest thing is you have to buy into it's an experience. Mm -hmm. It's not a hotel stay. It's not a Disney resort. It's an experience. You are going to work. You are going to run. You are going to have missions. You are going to be... We had completely different experiences. I am naturally evil. He is naturally good. <laughs> so we went different paths. Okay. Uh, they do a fabulous job of having those paths come together for a satisfying solution. Uh, the food is very unique. Does that mean you had to do a lot of things independently? Yes. yes. We had okay. things that I could do that he didn't have access to. Okay. He had things that he had access to that I didn't. Okay. See, I think you guys played it right. I think yeah. that's the way you should. Well, there's just yeah. many different storylines. There's so much, yeah. like... Literally, there is so much going on. I mean, I, you're never going to experience okay. every single thing. Unless you go like 10 So or the people times. next to you are having a totally different yeah. experience yeah. than you are. Yeah. Got, and like you interact and you. And I have to say, and it's no surprise with Disney, the cast is phenomenal. They do that with the character. They interact differently with the kids than they do with the adults. They bring you into the story. So you arrive and you get your special magic points. There were 368 on our cruise. Okay. Everybody, everybody gets their magic band. This you tap into to attempt to do your missions to interval access denied. You'll have to do puzzles and codes when you go to the tomb. There are certain things you have to scan. Okay. Uh, and based on that is where your story goes. Okay. And did so, you get your did you get issues? Issued a phone or a pad or yes. something. They when you issue a data pad upon entry um, because they don't want you on your own individual phone because of the way it interacts. So you get okay. messages from the different characters, okay. and depending on how you answer, is what path you take. Okay. It gives you so different I choices in order to. Uh, move on. Yes, I'll do that for the first order, or no, I won't. How much will you pay me? Uh, oh, so it's like a living yeah, it's story. Yeah, like it's your own adventure. Okay. So when you check in, it begins like a normal cruise, and the captain comes out and welcomes everybody, and there is more food and drink than you can ever imagine. Like, oh, really? Wow. Second stomach for the and then the first order boards the house of love. And then they hear there's rebel activity. So you're supposed to act, and there's like strong troopers wandering around. The lieutenant will question you if you've seen anything or you know okay. anything. And, and it's direct. The lieutenant is like, right like in your really face. seriously. Yeah. Like, like in your was it the same right. cast the whole way through? I assume yes, yes. right? You yes. saw the same people yes. the whole way. Okay, okay, good. And so based on that is what you're assigned. Like he was assigned to hack into the engineering. Room. That sounds intimidating though. It would probably scare me. Okay. <laughs> they, they They're supposed to? They don't break character. They don't? Right in. Oh my gosh. Yeah. No, when I gave him information, he's like, is, are you being truthful? Are you telling me everything? Is there more than And I'm like, oh, I know I've been here 10 minutes. <laughs> like, it's just, and yeah, so like based on that, he was assigned breaking into the engine room to help the rebel alliance. I was assigned befriending them to turn information into the first story. Okay. So then when did we you compare to, notes like yes. well of course we did. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And the room is we've not been in an actual cruise, but everybody we talked to said the room is very much similar to a cruise. Okay. It's, it's small. small. You don't you cannot do you, you, there's no you're time. Not in the room. So yeah, you're, you're, not, you're in the room to sleep. They have television. Like you are non stop go. Yeah. Because what you do, based on what you do, you get more data pad messages from other people and then talking to other guests you work together to do. And then, so like you finish something and then somebody else messages you and you go do something else. Okay. Then, well, but you have busy. to be active in order to get some of these special experiences. If you just sit around waiting, gotcha. if you sit around watching, you're going to miss half of it. You have to. Yeah, more than that. Yeah, you have to be involved, and that's when I go into it. You have to buy into it, and okay. then they have the cantina, which has the drinks and like. That is one thing for 
food folks, yes, you have to take an hour to sit out and um, we had a drink or, or two, but the appetizers were incredible and included. Yeah. Okay, and right. they had a snack station set up the entire time, and they had a gift shop set up the entire time. So it's not time. like you were going to go hungry at no. any point. No. And then like the meals, the breakfast and lunch were an a la carte buffet and they had it like taco style so you could try and it was like items that were familiar but presented in a unique way. And dinner is like on a cruise ship, you have assigned seating, you have the same service for both nights, um, they have a drink menu, they actually have a Chardonnay that is blue, and they have like fun drinks like the Mustafarian comes with lava rock to put in it. So it's very I thought that was fun to see yeah. that stuff. Did the blue Chardonnay taste any different? No, it tasted like burger. Okay. <laughs> I, you know, I had to try. I know, I know you did. I, know. <laughs> I had to try. <laughs> the uh, pod racer was a Manhattan. Best Manhattan. In my life. Wow. If you go, get the pod racer. Really? And it yeah. has like a, a sphere that's metal that keeps it cold. And Instead of an ice cube, yeah. that was literally a frozen. Yeah. I can't say it's solid, but a, a nice metal ball in order to keep your drink cold so it wasn't watered down. So you were drinking the best bang for your buck was that. Okay. Uh, and then he has a bloody raincore, which is like a bloody mary, and it had like tomato juice ice cube. That's, and they didn't melt, so they must and have they been called it really wow. yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so I mean, I mean, they were on. The pricing of the Halcyon, yes, it, it, it's up there, but it's definitely it's, worth it. After it's going all through it, I would do it again. Okay. That's the question. Yes. And that's that's always been the question I think everybody has. Right. Would you do it again? In a heartbeat. Okay. Well, you're afraid to spend that much because you're just come away with it. Because oh, actually you you're better prepared to go the second time. Like the first oh. time there's a lot of confusion and I mean we've been friends for over ten years. What do we do? I, I, there I was know. I'm like, we have to make a choice and he's like, oh, no. and I'm like, Okay, we have to make a choice. <laughs> Like, you have to, and he's like, Rrr. so I mean, there's just like, once you know that, once you know that you're going to have to make quick decisions, because based on that, it's going to be, it's truly a choose your own adventure. It's truly like a, a murder mystery dinner over two nights. That you well, it sounds live. better that you did no. separate activities right. rather than just... Yeah, it was together. funny because there was something I had assigned. And he's like, well, I'll just come along with you because he had nothing assigned at that time. And they scanned and they not a lot of access. Yeah. And there was like literally eight of us really? in the room. There was like eight of us so in the room and that was it. room. Uh, right. Because that room but, holds like there's what, like 40 people yeah. I think? So, so it just didn't mesh with right. your experience. Right. Yeah. I didn't have the authority, so the captain wouldn't allow me to. Yeah. Literally, it was the captain. So then I'm like, we did, um, his group was smuggling the coaxium onto the ship. I was collecting ship. something. We were hiding. Yeah. Okay. So like, so he did his did thing, and then I did my thing, and then we compared notes. Oh, wow. Like, and That's I was awesome. so funny because I'm like, you really didn't see us? And he's like, no. And I'm like, well, our mission was successful. Oh, he's like, I wasn't paying attention to over here. I was okay. watching over so here. So I'll ask you a question. Since you're the fan, since she was one, she's bragging about that, but anyway, you thoroughly enjoyed it. I did. Yes. Okay. Now, I'm an original series fan. Uh, Han Solo, right. Luke Skywalker. So, if Darth Vader would have walked out, you would have went bonkers. I would have probably melted. Okay. Him. Yes. <laughs> now, Heidi <laughs> is a new fan. Yeah. Uh, is it worth it to uh, you? Yes. Yeah. Because they do. They integrate Yoda. They integrate Chewbacca. They integrate... Okay, did them. you get to see Yoda? Because I've seen snippets of it. Okay. And I'm like... There was like 12 of us in the room. And if you... 
Yeah. Yeah. Succeed in a mission on Metu. You're invited into this room, and then you open the crate that you smuggle on your ship, and it's a hologram from Yoda. See, that, I would have just lost it right there. because it, No, I lost it at Chewbacca. Like, yes. when Chewbacca is, like, standing next to you really? just randomly, and then you're told, quick, we got an item from the First Order, and, like, you smuggle it. He kind of bent over Yeah, like, he bends down to, like, I mean, he's still huge, but, like, he bends down into the crowd, and you're all just like, do do nothing to see here. What's so cute is these kids that are only this tall are trying to help hide Chewbacca. <laughs> come on, Chewbacca, come on. So it seems like, from what I've seen from other people, it's like a lot of the kids really get into it. Yes. yes. And they, they do a fabulous job of giving the kids things to do. Like when we had to hide something, they would give the suitcase to the kids. Okay. Like, you need to take and hide this, and the kids would be like, and you know, as adults with no children, I love to see. We them loved watching it. Yeah. So they say it's forty-five hours yeah. from start to finish. You sleep about six. Right. Sleep about six. <laughs> sleep about six. Okay, that's good to know. How was sleeping in the bunk? Did oh, you actually, slept in the bunk? Yeah, I slept. Uh, I'm six one and two hundred and ten pounds, and I sit comfortably in okay. the upper bunk. Okay. Okay. Heidi had the bed. No. Lower bunk was for lunch. <laughs> the only weird thing is all the lights in the cabin are controlled by like the front. So like when you first walk in the door, so either you're dark or you're totally lit because your window is into right. the universe, space. into space. And so it's like it's either on or off. And then it's also really cool in your room you have what was she called? Oh, um, pardon, I forgot. It's a robot or a, a, a droid. Uh, that's like a wall panel. Yeah, yeah. And you hit the button. That little a host. Yeah. Control unit or whatever. And like, you interact with her. And she and tells she, you she's more like, on your story and gives you right. more. Yeah. She came on and she's like, oh, thank you for rescuing me and saving me. And, you know, and then she's like, what was your favorite thing on the trip? And I was like, I can't even imagine, like, all of it. And so. There's no one thing I can choose. I want, we wanted to say the food is when we started. We are most looking forward to the food. The food was extremely good. One step down from great. Just extremely good. You actually get a little copy of the menu. Nice. Of course I took it for you. Thank you so much. I'm upside down. Thanks for it. This might be the only time I see the Halcyon menu. Yeah. So this is the second night. It's a taste around the world. So they bring each course and they describe what it is and it's sort of family style and you can ask for more of anything. But we were so full there by the end. No there was plenty of food. Did, yes. did it, um, yeah, do, what you need to do, do you felt, did you feel it was long enough? I think they, they if, gave it to me. If they would add a day and slow it down. Yes. Okay. That's my thing. It's like your first day. It sounds a little like. Your first day, like, you check in and it's like go time. Now our food has arrived. Okay, the food has arrived and Mimi got me the pork chop. She went with the pork chop. And then Lori got the catch of the day right there. Oh, that looks fantastic. Okay, so I'm going to... I was going to say the salad. Did you try it? No. The dressing's really good. Is it? a bite of it? I will take a bite. Just don't give me an onion. You know that. It's really good. It's nice and fresh. It's like big old chunks of blue cheese. It's really good. You know what? I even got some onion in there. I don't care. I'm going to try Oh man, that dressing is great. It's not overbearing and pungent. That is a good blue cheese dressing. It's nice and mild. Yeah. It is fantastic. This is my pork chop that she brought me. And look at that. It's full of chimichurri. That is the pork chop. Bone in, of course. And it sits on the bed of potatoes, so all that juice is getting right in there. It looks Oh, it looks fantastic. And this is the... The cod. The stuffed cod. This is what Michelle and Kevin got, the stuffed cod, and you've already seen Heidi's pitch of the day, but that is it right there. This is the pork chop that Mimi brought me. I keep shaking the table. And it ha it's okay. It's going to be a little shaky. Who cares? A uh, little peppers there and the chimichurri sauce. So we're going to give this a try. Michelle's the still eating that salads, lettuce. They're hard to cut those wedges. <laughs> I'm going to give this a try while she picks up that salad. I like it. Mmm. 
Oh, your pork chop? You should try that. I will try that. It's got pepper. Mm -hmm. Is it hot? Oh, that's too big. It's so got like a little. Spice it's, it's got a little spice to it. Full of flavor, though. It's got weeds on it. <laughs> it is full of flavor. I love the red peppers because they're nice and sweet. Oh. She oh. said this was an employee favorite. Yep, this is an employee favorite. That's what she says, and I can see why. Because it's full of flavor. You can't beat it. Pretty good size. Too. Mm hmm I will be chewing on the bone there. <laughs> But it does have a little heat from it. I don't know if it's from the peppers or from the garlic, or, but it's nice. Probably Do I try some? Do I want to try some? No, I'm good. Okay. Thank you. Michelle went with stuffed cod. I'm really surprised about this one. <laughs> I know, because I am not a fish person. It looks nice and flaky. We're going to try this cod, and then we're going to ask Kevin if this is the way it should be done. So. <laughs> Get a little piece of the stuffing. Okay. Just a little piece. Okay. So there's oh, her stuffing bag. cod and stuffing right there. Did you get some sauce? Are we um, happy with our choices? So far, so good. Yes, thank you so much. We're going to try the cod. <laughs> Here we go. Ready? Mm. Stuffing is sweet. Yeah, it's got a sweet taste to it. What do you think? Sweetness. Yeah. This would be a dish for non fish eaters. Really? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. That's probably why I like it. That's why. It. <laughs> it's real. Because Very I really mild. like it. There, Very think, mild, a, a, a bit of a, a, a chewiness to it mm -hmm. to give it some, yeah, as opposed to. Texture to it. Yeah. You're absolutely right. Yeah. You're absolutely right. Okay, tell me how you saw this fish. Very good. It's a very meaty, dense fish, but the pineapple gives it a little bit of lightness. Is awesome. that like a corn or is that pineapple? Pineapple. Okay. Pineapple. Yeah, that far away, so and you you've got also potatoes with yes. yours. Okay. This yeah, is... I think it's interesting. Our potatoes are different from your potatoes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, red potatoes. Oh, oh yeah. Roasted yeah, we got the roasted and they got the reds. Yeah. Mm. I didn't even notice that, Heidi. Mm -hmm. Heidi should start her own channel so she can uh, <laughs> be more explanatory than me because I'm she's terrible our, on it. She's our chef. I know, she's our chef. Oh, that's so funny because I told him I had a dream last night that we partnered and we would do staycations at the resorts and meet you at the restaurants and we'd both. We're ready. I'm like, it's a partnership. That's a great idea. <laughs> I'm for it. Let's do it. I'm telling you, this has been the best thing from our channel is meeting guys like you. It is fantastic. We get to have dinner. I mean, and I love having dinner with my children. You know I do, kids. I love y'all. <laughs> But it's nice just to share dinner and experiences from where you folks are from right. and where we're from and then find out the Hilton is the place to stay because right. we both love the Hilton at um, Disney well, Springs. We found, we'll go back to have a regular dinner, just him and I, and then it's kind of quiet and, yeah, it's like, and we're like, right, we're both on missing. our phones. We've, like, we've, we've talked all day, right. so now we're, we're I'm playing a game and Heidi's Facebook. Right. <laughs> Do you play horrible? I, I play a Star Wars game. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Die hard, whatever it takes, like when this Star Wars hotel was announced. Whenever, whatever, however much. And I'm the bottom line girl. I'm like, it's how much for two and a half days? Are you kidding me? But after living through it and experiencing it and having the food and having the drink and having the interactions, it is 100% worth every penny Disney is charging. I was very skeptical. I was very... And we'll see. Prove it to me. And by halfway through the second day, I'm in it. I'm living it. I'm breathing it. I'm 100% invested good. in the story. Like the food. So how was the, the transportation? The Everybody was like, oh, is this a... You could not tell from the inside, and we have pictures. Did feel like you were in the bathroom? No. And like, here's, to me, it's Disney luxury. Like, we got there early to check in because we checked out of a Disney resort, and there is, it's still early. There's confusion. Our resort thought we had to go to Disney Springs and they were going to take our luggage. And then their manager's like, no, we buy you a taxi for you and your luggage. So we got there before 1 o'clock. And they're like, you cannot come into the building until 1 o'clock. 
They came out with umbrellas for those that were in the sun. They came out with bottles of water. They made sure everybody was just hanging around outside. Yeah. They took your luggage and said, we'll get it in your room. When we went to Batu, the transport, you feel like you're in this outer space transport system. And then when you come back, you get cold, wet towels, you get bottles of water, you get, how was your day? Did you, like, a luxury I mean, like, we're walking around doing all these missions and a server comes up, do you need a beverage? Are you good? You know, we have snacks over here. When we went to go to our room at the end of the night at 10, 11, midnight, they're standing there with cookies that are branded with the Chandrilla logo. Would you like a cookie before bed? Do you need anything so else? It's totally all immersive. So, I mean, it's like a hundred, that's what sold it for me. It's like, you are pampered, you are, and they constantly come up to you and say, are you happy with your, like three times I had somebody say, how's your storyline playing out? Is there anything I can do to help you? And they like have their so data So they packs. make the story even better for right. you if so you're they finding make sure. I was going to say if you're kind of lost and not right. sure what you need. Actually, yeah. you I yeah. did have problems with their data pack. And after we realized uh, uh, this is frustrating, we went to uh, the staff members, the cast members, and they fixed it almost instantly. And so that was very impressive to me. And like when we went to have lunch on uh, Batu was included. And when we went to Docking Bay 7, they told us to do a mobile order. It's going to be quicker than standing in line. And they expedited our mobile order because they knew we were on a time crunch. They knew we were at, so, and like other people in line noticed. And like because you're issued a special pin, mm -hmm. every cast member, every cast member is like, how's it going with the resistance? Like they're in character. Awesome. So even the ones on back too no. are getting yes. into it. Yes. And like we when even, I talked even, with even, our yeah. Even other guests, it was fun. Yeah, other guests came up to us and like, what are you guys doing? Are well, part of a secret mission. I I had, I, I had guests coming up to ask questions. Uh, where do, how does, uh, when Because he was this? dressed so in character. Oh, uh, uh, really? Uh, Which I will say, another side note, get the photo pass. Get the photo pass? There are yes. tons of opportunities and special opportunities with the photo pass. Because you don't have time to take pictures because you're so in the moment and so running around. The cast members make sure you have those memories. Awesome. Awesome. We're going to be booking another cruise soon. With you. I, I, can't, okay. I can't say soon. That's it. But uh, just probably a year, year and a half? Yeah. Uh, at least. What I would like to see is there's... Uh, there's already a number of storylines. We would have to do this three or four times to do all the storylines. Which is really going to be Disney. What I would like to see is about five years from now, and I'm kind of change the whole story, the whole group. Instead of the first order, let's go back in time. Let's, uh, right. Yeah. Okay. Like a different point. Like yeah. maybe to Mandalorian or, you know, different right. stuff like that. Right. Right. I would do it again. Yes. Okay. I was surprised. It's and, and to be honest, lightsaber training was a touch point, but what could you? It was still a lot of fun. A, a, a lot of fun. Yeah, the same would be for kids. Yeah. Oh no, I'm fifty-three, and I still had a good time. That's good. That's good. See, that's perfect. The sub I watched, that's another thing where you gotta slow, there's so much going on on the ship, and so much you have to do in Batu. you have to pick. Because like, we literally had no time to do the Sabacc tournament, or do like, they did dance lessons, they did all these like, cruise type activities. It just didn't it fit into our schedule. It kind of comes down to what storyline you on? Okay, here's a break, because we did have a break. Right. Your storyline was this to this, and I couldn't do that. So it kind of sounds like those activities are more for the people that don't want Wanda, to get in right. Well, not necessarily. No. It, again, it comes down to your storyline. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. But we did what, and it was really funny, and I have a picture I'll share with you. Like, during the Sabak tournament, the stormtroopers come up. Like, they just start wandering through. And one of them goes up to the tournament board, and he starts reading it. And then he turns, and he starts, right, is anybody cheating? Do I need to take anybody to the brig? And everybody just like, I just stops, and I was like, no. <laughs> like, okay. There was one point we were in the cantina, and we were 
we're having a drink and I got a message and I'm like, I gotta go. Cause like I had to meet with somebody and he's like, where'd you have to go? And I'm like, I had to do something, you know. So it's, just, it's, it's fun because we also became suspicious of each other. Yeah. <laughs> right, like when we were in something, he's like, are you like, what are you doing over there? And I'm like, don't you worry about what I'm doing over here. <laughs> Over so here. now we know why you only slept for about six hours for the I two was days. working. I was working both times. <laughs> you didn't know you'd be on a working vacation. I know. <laughs> awesome. I think that's a great synopsis. Yeah, so you guys that. had a great time. Oh, that's that's the end day. Like, leaving. Did you do anything that morning? Like was it like a the big finale was the night before. The big finale with the good versus evil and the big battle. And then the celebration and the new firework. Like that was such a late night for everybody. The next morning everybody just got breakfast and got out of there. Well, there was still a few characters still wanting to yeah. continue and yeah. the best thing, I think three hundred and sixty eight people as far as we know was right. on our cruise. But everyone instantly became friends and party. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. Mimi is coming back with the dessert menu, and I'm still going to say it wholeheartedly. I'm still like It is life. the company that makes the meal, and we've had a great meal tonight. Listening to the Halcyon stories, we can't wait to order dinner. I mean, that we've already ordered dinner, <laughs> ordered dessert. Let's see, we got here at six o'clock. Right? Yeah. Was it six o'clock? Yeah, about six. And then by the time we leave here, it'll be eight thirty. But like I said, it's always the food was good. I didn't have any problem. Um, we're not big fish eaters, so Michelle tried it. The pork chop was fantastic. It had shrimp in the stuffing. I missed that on the description. It was yeah, shrimp and scallop in the stuffings. The calamari was really good. Um, I believe the drinks were really good. Yes. So everything was good and Mimi is great. So if you ever come to the paddlefish or you ever go to flying fish and she's working, make sure you ask for her. So now we cannot wait to see the dessert menu because of course you know I'm going to order dessert. 99% of the cast members are here because they want to be. Exactly. You're exactly right. And that's exactly why I work here. I want to be here. I love, I go to work at, now it's going to be 4.50 in the morning because we have to be there by 5. But walking into that contemporary and seeing those lights on, it's just like, I get to do this today. And it's, it's exciting. It really is. And it, it's that way for a lot of people. And then when you see the excitement from you guys going on something like this that is brand new, that even makes it even more worth it. Okay. Over there at the end? It I think like that was like the cheesecake. I think, it, yeah, it comes in the mouth. Okay, this is the menu for dessert. This is it right here. Four items. But I will find something on this menu to get. And I believe Kevin will probably have black coffee. There we go. Yeah, see? I knew it. I knew what I like. I think I may go with the New York style cheesecake, Desserts. which is farm fresh strawberry compote, and that is nine dollars. We're gonna do key lime pie. Yeah. What are you doing? What did you get? I'm gonna get the cheesecake, strawberry cheesecake. Do you want to split it? Yeah, we could do that. <laughs> it looked like a pretty good size. Yeah. So we, um, they're going with the key lime pie, which is graham cracker and torched meringue for ten dollars. The descriptions on this menu are just I'm phenomenal. You. <laughs> So, but these will probably be fantastic, so who knows. So um, when Mimi comes back around, we will order our dessert. Our desserts have arrived. And I'm gonna go with, this is mine and Michelle's cheesecake right here with the berry compote. And I'm trying to figure out what that, oh, it's a fish. Look at that. Yeah, it's a fish on that. The little silver fish. We can figure out what it is. Um, we will have to say, and everybody is in agreement at the table, um, for such a nice restaurant, they could have a little bit more. Their silverware could be a little stouter. But everything has been good. The food has been great. And this key lime pie right here, just look at that. Here, I'll leave it on the camera for a while. Look at that. That looks fantastic. And this is what Kevin and Heidi got. And, of course, he got his black coffee. So we're going to give these a try on dessert and have some more great conversation. Okay, we're getting ready to get you a bite there, honey. Now both of these desserts are made in house. Wait, is this real whipped cream? I don't. I think that's cool. It's cool whip in there. Cool whip. 
Just no, real whipped cream. Always should be real whipped that's cream. That's our bakery days. Yeah, that's our bakery about. days right there. So always real whipped go. cream. Go Here we go, ready? Yes. Cheers. Thanks guys for a great dinner once again. Yes. Mm. That's a sweet. Okay. Son-in-law Mike, this is the cheesecake that we had. Yes. On the first night at. Yes. Boat rights. Boat rights. This is a great cheesecake. This is really good. Yeah, How's the good. key lime pie? Uh, Very dense. Very dense. Yeah, this is Tension dense. touch on a sweet side. Really? Not as the tart side. Okay. Okay. Yes. Do you want to try a bit? Eight off my fork. Yeah, I know. Are you playing with our germs? No. Mm. I just don't want to share mine. I'm not. Forget it. Okay, Heidi gave me a, a slice. It's very dense, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, but that's my kind of key lime. It is good. It's good. It is sweet and would, not very tart. I would yeah. pick it up a notch, though. Yeah. Just a I want it to lime. lime. Yeah, I yeah. want that. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I want the back of the throat. <laughs> I want to taste the condensed milk in it. What you do in that one? Yeah. You do in that one. You want to try the cheesecake? Yes, please do. Yeah. Try the cheesecake. We have had a great time tonight with Kevin and Heidi. We cannot yeah. wait to see them again. I don't know how we're going to do it. We'll, we'll figure either, it out. We'll figure it out. We'll either come up and see you guys. Yeah. We'll take traveling around Disney on the road. Yeah. There we go. But we've had a great time. Great dinner. Thank Mimi, you very once much again. Fantastic. Yeah, thanks for sharing the house. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks with us. For, yes. Thanks for listening. Oh, we loved it. We loved it. But like we always say, we don't know, and we really don't know where we're traveling to next time because we knew we were coming here. But next time, we don't know where we're going to be, travelers. But we're always glad that you guys travel along with us. And like we always say, until next time, Travel and Adventure is out there. Okay, me and Michelle just had a fantastic dinner oh, yeah. with Kevin and Heidi. And we just want to say thank you so very much. It was a great time having dinner with you guys. I tell you. It's, that's been the best thing about this channel. They got, they actually got us a little Halcyon pin right there. So Heidi and Kevin, we cannot wait to see you guys again. And thank and you so very much. Thank for you, thank the time you, thank you for to let both. Us know about your trip. Both dinners at the fishes, paddlefish and flying fish. It was a great time. Safe travel. See you guys next time.